Hi everyone, this is James Hartline reporting live from the UCSD uh, Dermatology Surgery Department out in La Jolla and I am here in the middle of another surgery to remove cancer. Um, it's always a difficult process and procedure for me. Um, the reason I have so many of these cancer problems with my skin now is because when I was younger I spent many many years running uh, competitive uh, long-distance running in the sun without any sunscreen. I didn't like to wear sunscreen because it burned when it got in my eyes and I did a lot of sun damage to my skin and sometimes when we're younger we don't really think about the long-term consequences of sun exposure and sun damage and it's really kinda boggling to my mind that people go to these sun tanning uh, lounges and get all this radiation on their skin week after week not really thinking through that wow I have a tan today but I might have all these skin cancers later and have to go through all the painful surgeries and possible chemotherapy and the scarring and all those things so it's really important from the time that you're young not to just ab not avoiding the sun and not uh, not having fun but you know, taking some precautions, wearing sunscreen, wearing your hats when you can, uh, don't lay out in the sun and get burned and fried and be arrogant and proud and think, oh, it's never going to happen to me or live today and forget about tomorrow, but be responsible, set a good example and avoid a lot of the painful uh, cancers and sun damage and all the kinds of things that... Uh, you know, I and, and millions of other Americans now face because we, we really weren't educated on the full impact of uh, the radiation damage from the sun and the ultraviolet rays and what, what they can do. And, you know, a, another thing, there's a lot of people who do these sunning, suntan things and the, the sunning, sunbed uh, lounges and all these things, and they pay money, and they're not really well regulated, and you see people coming out they're you know fried it's not their natural skin color um, for whatever reason um, because they want to look a certain way but there's a lot of medical consequences for doing that and the fact is is that they don't always bear the load or the cost for uh, all that damage they're now doing but the taxpayers uh, have to pay for those things and so we all have to work together to right, try to reduce medical cost and and to educate each other if we can if we know something that can help others to educate them and you know there's this uh, woman who recently uh, the the tanning mother who just burned herself uh, for years in the those sunning the suntan places and um, now they give her videos and they give her media time and to put her in some weird movies and stuff like she's a hoot and a holler but and really she's just a terrible example of um, of uh, irresponsibility and so we really shouldn't honor you know those kinds of things nowadays when we have the information we need to be safe and we need to be practical and responsible once we know something's really harmful to us we we should back away we shouldn't do it um, we should be safe and not uh, take risk um, so I have a bandage on my head where they've already taken out a chunk of my skin on my face and they're biopsying it and the way that these uh, cancer surgeries work, they take the chunk of the skin out, they take it to the laboratory while they leave the wound open, uh, they analyze the tissue and see if they've gotten all the, the cancer around the borders and then if there's any uh, cancer remaining on the border they will come out, come back and take a little more of the edge of the opening of the cut to uh, analyze that and then if that's clear then they can come in and surgically repair it. And the, surgical repair work is where it gets to be a little more brutal because they have to make a much larger and longer cut uh, so that when they suture it back uh, it will be flat and even and not get the tags that you can get um, from just kind of sewing it in uh, improperly and they have um, a good a team here that does a fine job in uh, dealing with this and then trying to make it look um, as cosmetically nice as they possibly can. Um, so I'll talk to you in a little bit. Um, I've taken some pictures like I always do and some reports and we'll put a good video together. Uh, part two of James Hartline stays awake during cancer surgery. See you and God bless you.